Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw the very cool looking berry from Roblox Piggy. So once again, here is my full pencil sketch shown in two speed. It's a little bit fast, and then right after this, I'll show you guys how to draw this line by line with a sharpie. Alright, so let's draw this and this one is very easy to draw. So here's my sketch underneath and the only tricky part is just that the glasses is kind of slanted so it's a little bit tricky. Alright, so we, to begin we're going to start out with the overall head shape so it's just going to be one big circle again. You can use any kind of drawing aid or just kind of freehand it. It's okay if it's a little bit wobbly. Alright, and then from this circle right here, just come to the center and draw another circle. This is going to be his nose. And then from here, to finish up the snout area, from the top of this circle, just go up, make a little point. And this is going to be the top of a bigger circle. So we'll come all the way down, almost to the bottom, but not quite. So that's going to give us the snout area. And then now for his eyes, we just come out in an angle, whatever space you have right here, just draw one circle. And let me shade that in black real quick. Okay, now one more on this side. I'm going to draw a circle inside and I'm just going to shade around it. Alright, and then for his cheeks right here, just come out from the center, just draw like a little egg shape. And then let's go ahead and finish up the ears and then we'll draw those glasses. So right on the eye right here, just come up. We're going to curve to right around here, so just come on an angle. So now that we have these two points, just draw one big curve. Alright, so that's his head and then now let's draw in those tricky glasses. So for the glasses right here, 
right in the middle. I'm going to draw a little slant. It's going this way. So this is going to be the middle of the glasses. Okay, so just one slant right in the middle. And then from here, I'm just going to curve right over the eye. So I go all the way out here. Make it a little bit thicker so you guys can see this. Okay, so it's just one angle. So whatever angle you draw on this at, I'm just going to continue this on the other side. Okay, so it's going to be symmetrical. I know it looks really strange. Okay, so this is going to be the top frame. And then now for the bottom right here, and this one's going to go right into the eye. So I'm just going to curve in. So it's going to go right around. And then this one's going to go right between, right in the little space right there. Okay, and then I think I'll add a little rectangle here on the edge. Okay, so those are his glasses. And yeah, don't worry if it's slightly uh, different angle on yours. It doesn't really matter as long as there's uh, glasses there. All right, so now let's draw his body. Come out here. I'm going to draw two lines. This is going to be his armpit right here. And then for his body, we'll pinch it in all the way down to his waist right here. And then we just close this off. And let's draw in his arms and let's draw in this side first. So here's his armpit. Go back to the shoulder up here. Curve. And then for the lower arm right here, just one long bracket. Well, actually it's not his lower arm, but his full arm. Okay, so we're right around here. And then now for his hand, just one little hook for the thumb. Right in here, just have one little line. Here's the back of the hand. And then for the fingers, we'll just curl this down and then just go back up and connect that. And then for the other fingers, just one little bump. Okay, so this hand's gonna be holding the sword, so it's gonna be uh, slightly different, but his armpit's gonna be the same right here. Okay, shoulders, curve down. And this part's gonna be the same too. Just one long bracket. Okay, so that's gonna be his wrist down here, and now for his hand, so I'm gonna start on this side. This is gonna be his thumb. It's gonna draw one little loop like this first. And now for the other fingers, just start on this end. Just one curve going all the way around and then tuck it right behind the thumb. And I'm going to add one line here for the fingers. And now whatever space you have here, I'm just going to close it with a slight curve. All right, so before we draw in the uh, sword, let's go ahead and finish up the legs first. So the legs are really easy. From the center here, come down, make a little line. And then I'm going to draw two straight lines going down. Just make it slightly wider in the bottom. Okay, so that's going to be the inside of the legs. Now for the outside, come down, same slant as this, and stop a little short. At the very end, just give it a little bump. Close it. Okay, so we're come down. We slightly wider and stop short. Curve, and then just close it off. All right, so now let's draw in the sword and let's start on this side first. So I'm just going to draw one line. Draw two lines slightly longer on the top. And then I'll close that off with a slant. And from the top line there, I'm going to draw another curve going out. So this is going to be uh, the top of his sword. All right, so now that we have the top line, just come down right here. Just draw a little curve going out. And then now whatever space you have here, I'm going to start on the tip right here. Draw one big curve. Just kind of try to smooth it out. All right, so uh, now for the handle, this one's really easy. So I'm just going to continue this. Let's draw like a little rectangle. Add a couple of lines. And this is going to be going behind the body. So I'm just going to draw a little curve and then 
kind of tuck it right behind the legs. I know there's more details on the on the sword there. And then on this side right here, I'm just gonna go in, just kind of connect that. All right, so that is it for this berry. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.